Welcome this morning to our daily devotional, and uh, I hope that you have your cup of coffee with you. Um, I'm very excited about you tuning in in our uh, devotions and studies on the 23rd Psalm. I uh, have been a little lengthy. I uh, am going to try to see if I can shorten it up today. I don't make any promises. I just get really uh, uh, excited and I get into it. But um, what a wonderful psalm. Six verses. Six of the most, the most powerful verses in the whole Bible that uh, are just uh, um, they, full of so much comfort and strength and guidance for anyone that would have the Lord as his shepherd. Charles Spurgeon said of this psalm, we have all things and we abound. Not because I have a good store of money in the bank, not because I have skill and wit or smarts to win the bread, but because the Lord is my shepherd, was Charles Spurgeon's statement. And um, when we read the, the, the chapter, and, and we're going to read it every day just for sake of context, and let's do that right now. Uh, read along with me. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a tail before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now, just by way of review, I want you to remember uh, the one thing that is crucial for us to be able to uh, draw from this wonderful psalm all the comfort that 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 is embedded in in, in these six verses. We are sheep, and and. Uh, the more that we understand that we're helpless, that we, we're, we're just unintelligent, the, we have no sense of direction, uh, uh, we don't uh, perceive danger, we're stubborn, uh, we're weak, uh, uh, we're, we're fearful. Uh, the more we understand that, as David uh, did, the more that these verses will not only mean something to us, but become a reality in our daily living. Now, David says, the Lord is my shepherd. If you don't have a problem with I underlining your Bible, underline the word my. M-Y, my. David is communicating here to us in a very personal way, that the, that the Lord was not just the keeper of all, but he was his personal keeper. The text does not read the Lord is our shepherd, but the, the text reads the Lord is my shepherd. And then uh, what follows is, is connected to this this uh, personal detail that, that David gives in relation to how he saw his God. The Lord is my shepherd, my, and then uh, I, the I and the my, I shall not want, which basically means I will lack nothing. And it's very forceful and it's very emphatic. Now, uh, is it talking about our daily personal needs, uh, food, uh, material needs? And uh, God does take care of us in, in all those ways. But we must remember that David here is referring to his spiritual and his emotional needs. And when he says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, I have lack of nothing. He, he is talking about 
the very unique way in which God took care of his very unique and personal needs. Because he is not just the shepherd of many, but my shepherd, he takes a very special and he takes a, a, a very precise a, a care of, of the needs that I have. He tends and cares about my needs. Because he is my shepherd, he, David is saying, I lack nothing of his special attention to my very unique and special needs that only I have. That is beautiful. That is wonderful. Um, it, is, it is said that, that a shepherd knows his sheep by name. And in fact, it, it, it is one of the things that a shepherd does. He puts names on all the sheep and, and, and he knows them. Jesus referred to this when he said in John 10, 14, I am the good shepherd and know in a personal way, in a very unique way, I know my sheep. Uh, also, in the 27th verse of John 10, Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them. I know them. So, when, when David says, The Lord is my shepherd, he is saying, God is very much in tune of my needs, of my makeup of who I am. All the sheep were different. Uh, there were uh, uh, different color sheep. There were striped sheep. Uh, there were spotted sheep. There were, but, but the shepherd knew the uniqueness of every one of them. And this is what David is trying to communicate here with us. The pastor identifies his sheep and even the cries of a, of a sheep in a, in a very unique, personal way. A shepherd explained it this way. The cry of, of, of a sheep in distress is not the same of a cry of a sheep that is separated from his mother. Uh, and it is very different uh, from the cry of a sheep that's caught up on, in a fence. The pitch is different. So the shepherd learns how to distinguish the sounds of each sheep and, and the different conditions in which they find themselves in. Uh, the wool and calling of her lamb makes a very different pitch sound as the sound that, the, that she would make when uh, she's just wanting to be let out to pasture. You see, this is the thought that the Lord is trying to get across to us. When we come to the 23rd Psalm and when we come to God, uh, please keep this in your mind. You do not have to fit into anybody's mold, mold when you come to God. In fact, you don't fit into anybody's mold when you come to God. The Lord is my Shepherd, there were, therefore, I I lack nothing. I lack nothing uh, of the different needs of everything that God knows, as He knows me, as as God knows me, as a shepherd knows His sheep. There is nothing that I lack of everything that He knows that I need. My fears, my fears during this time are not the same as somebody else's fears. My doubts are not the same as somebody else's doubts. My, my weaknesses, the things that trouble me are not the same as those things that are maybe troubling somebody else. Um, I need comfort from him in areas perhaps that nobody else needs comfort. But what, I, what, what the uh, truth here uh, being taught is saying is that, is that the Lord is not just the shepherd of all, although he is. 
But David, in a very personal way, says, he's my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I, all of the very personal knowledge that God has about me is what makes him able to, in a very special way, tend to my needs without lacking nothing. I shall not want. I lack nothing, David says. I lack nothing of what the shepherd knows that I need. I am unique. And he uniquely tends to all of my needs, lacking nothing. Why? Because he is not just the shepherd of many. He is my, my shepherd. There's a story about a little boy who was dying of cancer. And his mother was helping him to try and memorize this phrase, the Lord is my shepherd using his hand starting from the thumb he started she started working with the boy fighting this terrible this disease and and used his hand starting with the first word the lord is my shepherd and he worked on that and he worked on that the boy was called by the Good Shepherd to heaven. He didn't beat the disease. The mother noticed when the boy died that he had his other hand fixed on the ring finger. That is a thought that took him to heaven. My, the Lord is my the little boy thought as he went to heaven, my shepherd. I hope that this is a blessing and encouragement to all of us, how God very uniquely loves us and cares for us. God bless you. Please join us again tomorrow as we continue to have our studies in the 23rd Psalm. Uh, pass the word along. And also, uh, I, would, I would ask you to um, take care of yourself and uh, Lord willing we will see you tomorrow